Okay, so let's skip ahead and talk about the group control. So the group control is very similar to the simple control, but it has a, a, a master on top of all of them. So if I create a simple control, uh, sorry, a group of control for those uh, three controllers. It's going to create one control for each, which is in object space, so you don't necessarily need to animate, but you can. But this one is the main uh, reason for this. So it's a master with no um, in-world space, generally. It has a few other spaces you can put in relative or camera or grab release, but there's no object space because it doesn't have any parent. So um, let's let's see what we are doing in, in this one. Okay, so let's say I have a, uh, this walk cycle here. I'm gonna first bake it down. So I have now the uh, walk cycle moving forward, and let's say if I now if I want to um, to rotate this walk to another direction. So there's a few ways you you could do something like this. Like in this case, I could um, simply like rotate this, for example. But sometimes you don't want to to play with the master control. You just want to do it for a section or something like that. So what I'm I'm going to do now I'm going to, to grab the same controls that I did the I case, and this time I'm going this time I'm going to select the head as well. And I'm going to create a group control for them. And now what I can do, this one doesn't have any uh, animation. And then I can rotate it to wherever I want. And the controls are going to obey that. And then I can just bake it down again. So that's one use of uh, this sort of thing. And then uh, the difference is, is that for uh, I could even animate this if I want. Like, let's suppose I'm going to create a key here. Let's see what I get if I do this. going on and then I can quickly bake those kind of things uh, this next one is that if you if you want to space things apart let's see which one this is You want to space things apart, like in the example here. When you create a, a group control for them, they're going to move, simply move if you scale. So I can create for the master con controls in here. And then 
if I scale this, it's just going to move them apart. Uh, the cool thing about this is that you can even do this with, oops, with, with the character controls itself. Like, let's say I want to bring those hands apart. I could do something like this and scale them, and you'll say, well, that's much more work than just moving the hands apart. But the, the thing about this is that it's actually scaling the whole animation apart. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna show this in this next example here. I'm not gonna even talk about this one, it's just, uh, you can create like controls for things that doesn't have controls with this or the simple control doesn't matter. So I'm gonna move to this one and I'm gonna show what I'm talking about the scaling the animation apart. Um, this one. So let's let's see, let's say like you transfer the walk cycle from, from one character to another and then the, the limbs are different sizes and the animation becomes like different it still kind of works but you have to scale down this the strides so this would be a, a good way to do it this one is okay right now let me just scale them up first well, let me show you how, how this works by the way so I have those two uh, uh, group control for both foot. So if, I if I scale it, let's say I can even move move it a little bit. I already did like a, a much shorter stride. And then, uh, and then again, like bake, bake it, and then it's back to the rig. Next one, create a good control and camera space for the character master. Oh yeah, so the same, um, another like cool thing that you can do. I'm gonna do it on this scene. So I have the camera there. So I'm gonna create temp control but in camera space right now. So you can see that the camera is very small but it's in here. So the group control is kind of aligned to the camera. So if I scale it, see how I'm bringing the character closer or farther away. And again, like the, um, the animation will, will stay the same. But you are move things closer. Um, yeah, this is very similar to the other one that I showed about the um, moving the the set around the character. Um, It's just another another approach. So basically the idea is that you can uh, create the uh, the camera along with the control in the same group. I don't think there's too much to tell about this one. <laughs> 